Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share a new video about uh, a solution for uh, the heating bed. So basically for my uh, huge 3D printer I'm not using a heating bed. But I want to experiment anyway to see if, the, if there are a cheaper solution. Uh, since my bed is pretty large uh, because it's like um, uh, total 100 millimeter by 800 uh, basically it's, it's 2 meters square uh, it would cost me a lot of money to uh, do uh, that kind of huge heating bed so I found a new uh, way and I have to experiment and test uh, to use an infrared uh, film heating solution which are used for heating floors in houses so basically uh, the, the, the product comes as a roll and it's like an infrared film uh, carbon and uses infrared to do the heating so this, this one that I bought is um, 800 for uh, 2 meters and it's capable of doing 400 watts per meter uh, so you need to connect basically here are the uh, copper strip along the side of the, the film and you connect those to a thermostat which controls the temperature and the, of course the current that goes through the, this heating film uh, and then so the heating and the temperature so you need basically the same concept of a normal heating bed in a 3D printer where you have uh, temperature sensors that is um, that um, allows to read the temperature on, on the heating bed and so it allows to uh, push more or less current depending on the temperature so this works anyway now I don't wanna um, open it because uh, the roll is pretty long and it's going to be a mess to put it back but basically if you see it's a uh, it's like a thin film um, there are this copper strip here and on the bottom on the bottom here and those two are where you connect it to the to the thermostat and you can cut any length you want uh, this film. I paid uh, about 20 bucks for this this one. Um, there are different sizes, different lengths, so it could be a solution for who's looking for um, a heating uh, system for uh, bigger 3D printers. Um, I found some uh, shorter, uh, shorter uh, film uh, but uh, uh, they didn't have it uh, so uh, anymore so on the on the store where I bought it um, so if you have a different 3d printer sizes uh, um, you, you might find um, a way to use this kind of solution hopefully I have uh, I can do a test uh, soon I'm waiting for the thermostat, which was supposed to arrive with this roll, but uh, uh, hopefully the didn't got lost. Anyway, uh, so 20 bucks instead of a few hundred for uh, the heating bed. Hopefully I don't need it, but in case I have a solution, uh, I think it's good. Um, so for my uh, pellet uh, extrusion, uh, of 3D car uh, uh, carbon fiber, I didn't need a, a heating pad, but uh, you know, having it, uh, it's not, uh, it's not bad. Also, this guy is very thin, so I can put it right under the pay uh, bed that I have. So I have pay um, attached to a big. Uh, uh, zinc laminate um, for the bed and then that that is attached to a wood uh, so um, 
that that's the bed that I have right now. So this solution is going to be good because I can put it right under the zinc uh, foil, and uh, it it's, it doesn't take any space basically. So that's that's it. Uh, hopefully I can do a, a test uh, soon, and um, and uh, hopefully it works everything. So thank you for. Uh, watching the video uh, please subscribe to the channel put a like and uh, share with others and if you have any question please leave in a comment uh, I will put the link to where I got it in the description thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video bye